Good morning students this is Sanchita ma'am let us begin the topic soil profile from the chapter 9 soil from the book of NCERT class 7 we usually see the top surface of the soil not the layers below it if we look at the sides of a recently dug ditch we can see the inner layers of the soil too such a view enables us to see the soil profile at that place a vertical section through the soil showing the different layers of the soil is called the soil profile each layer differs in texture color depth and chemical composition these layers are referred to as horizons soil profile can also be seen while digging a well or laying the foundation of a building it can also be seen at the sides of a road on a hill or at a steep river bank let us study the different inner layers or horizons of the soil in detail top soil or a horizon the uppermost layer of the soil is called top soil it is also called a horizon the top soil shows the following features it is the darkest in color as it is rich in humus and minerals the humus in the top soil makes the soil fertile plants get the essential nutrients from this layer the layer is generally soft porous and can retain more water the roots of most of the small plants are confined entirely in this layer top soil also provides shelter for many living organisms such as worms rodents moles and beetles the second layer of the soil which is just below the top soil is called subsoil or b horizon the subsoil shows the following features this layer is lighter in color than top soil as it has a very little humus or organic matter This layer is harder and more compact than the top soil. Roots of trees generally reach up to this level. This layer is rich in soluble minerals and iron oxides. The layer of the soil which is just below the subsoil is called substratum or the sea horizon. The substratum shows the following features. It is made up of small lumps of broken rocks formed by the partial weathering of bedrock which lies below this layer. This layer lacks humus altogether and is infertile completely. This layer is characterized by cracks and crevices. the layer just below the substratum is the bedrock and is also called d horizon the bedrock is solid non porous and hard layer of weathered rocks this layer cannot be easily dug up even with a spade water cannot penetrate the bedrock so it accumulates above it to form the water table 
the reservoir of rain water accumulated in this layer is called ground water when there is sufficient rain ground water level rises whereas during drought ground water level falls 